Hey guys, so we're here at a um, children's hospital, but basically Camille has a condition where um, she can't hear very high pitched sounds and um, I never told you guys this, but if you hear her speak a little differently, it's because she is hard of hearing. And so we're here at her doctor's office. We haven't seen her, I want to say, in almost two years. Currently, she's still considered pediatric. And as she turns 22 into 23, then she has to see an adult audiologist. So I don't know how much I can film. I do want to try to get at least a picture of her in the room of her getting tested. And um, I had a, one picture of her when she was a child and I don't know if I can retrieve that. But that's really the only thing I have documented. So before she turns into an adult and sees an adult audiologist, I just want to take this moment so we can capture it. And I'll show you how it is to do the process. So this is how a audiology exam room looks like there are in these little booths and so the patient sits on one side the audiologist sits in the other side and these little boxes here they contain a character figure which has lights and sounds so if I remember when the audiology assesses a very young patient like a toddler who you can't really have them sit much longer in this room they kind of light up and make noise. The type of um, sound that we're using to test um, and it's closest to like the actual frequencies that are in speech and language. So the doctor called this pure tone audiometry if I said that correctly and this is the test that she uses to evaluate Camille. Least long change kill and the doctor just put on a bone conductor test so she's been passing these tests i'm going to be interested if anything changes say the word walk walk say the word pain pain say the word date date say the word pearl all right, so we're done with the evaluation. The doctor also checked her hearing aids and made sure it was functioning well. Now these hearing aids are old, so the left one is very weak. And it did go through the wash and the dryer, so we do need new hearing aids. And that's gonna be for another time. But anyway, Camille, let's go eat. I'm starving. I didn't eat since last night, because I am trying to lose weight, and I had a little sandwich in my bag. So I've uh, basically inhaled that, and I'm still hungry. So where do you want to eat, Camille? I want McDonald's. Can we get McDonald's? Okay. All right. All right. So I convinced my daughter to eat somewhere else besides, you know, just McDonald's. And I know this is kind of like a weird vlog because this is not like really my niche, but this is part of our life and we call it life adventures. So that's why I'm showing you um, her appointment from the audiologist. But now we're going to eat at a buffet and that's part of our life adventures as well. My daughter is starting off with some sushi, but this is the selection they have. This is their lunch menu, so it is limited. I don't know what this one's called, but I like that it. it has tempura and some teriyaki sauce. And then I want to try, looks like it's something on top, something spicy with a, an egg. There's no names on these sushis. They also have seaweed salad, edamame some tofu, which I do like the tofu, and some kimchi. I got a very weird taste or palate. So you'll be seeing me getting all sorts of different foods, sweet and salty at the same time. Okay, so this is the first plate, and this is the first plate for my daughter. Let me try this one with this, um, I don't know what it is, some kind of topping on top. It's a little bit spicy. <laughs> Sorry, just a little bit spicy. Not too bad. I'm not done with my savory items yet, but I do want my sweet now. And they have this, it's like a flan, not a true flan. I would say it's like a mixture of flan and jello. And I like a good helping of it. 
I'll also get a little bit of this broccoli on the side here. I feel like I'm back on a cruise ship. <laughs> and I'll get some mushrooms right next to the broccoli. My daughter's kind of the same way because she has her sweet and her savory. <laughs> hey Camille, do you also feel like you're back on a cruise ship <laughs> with a buffet? There's less waiting. There's less waiting? Swaying. Oh, swaying, yeah, but the food I'm talking about. <laughs> These sesame balls, or what my mother calls it, Gucci Gucci, they're so good. So they're like kind of, um, they're not very crispy, but they have a little bit of texture to it. They have the sesame balls and inside is, um, what is it called, red bean. So it's rice flour and then red bean inside and then coated with uh, sesame seeds. I'm gonna show you how it looks like inside. This one doesn't have too much red bean in it, but that's how it looks like. Meals are already full on her second place, but me, yeah, I'm getting there. But hey, I paid twelve dollars each person, so I'm gonna get my food. <laughs> no, I still want food. I need to eat some meats, um, and that just keeps me full a little longer. We have the General Sos chicken. It's gonna get a little bit of that. We have our classic beef and broccoli and chicken and broccoli right next door. Oh, I just need a little bit. And uh, oh, they have my favorite dish over there. My favorite dish is the black and pepper chicken. It has both like sweetness and savory together. Maybe that's why it's my favorite. So I like a good helping of that. Maybe a little bit more. And if my youngest daughter was here, she would eat this whole thing to herself. They have a pretty good selection here. There's some crab meat, some corn. This one is finished already. You have the fried section on this side. And our favorite dessert, like I showed you, was, are those Gucci Gucci balls or sesame balls. They have more food on this table. Usually they have some form of a fish and this one is baked salmon. It looks a little bit dry though. I don't eat it also with all the sauce. That's I just like mine with lemon butter. Now this is new. This is the first time I've seen this and this is a baked bun. I don't know if there's anything inside it, but I'm curious to find out, so I'm gonna get one. And also these chicken wings, I've never seen these before too. I mean, this is lunch. I usually come here for dinner. I'm gonna take one of these. I just wanna taste how it, how it is. It looks a little bit on the spicy side. I already ate one of these um, black pepper chicken. Um, it's sweet. A little bit spicy, savory. <laughs> That's why it's my favorite. Now this says baked bun. It doesn't feel like there's anything in it. It does feel very tacky, so I don't know if it's some kind of like buttery, sugary sauce. Let me just open it. I think it's empty. Yeah, it's empty. But let me give it a go. Just a small piece. Mm. Not my favorite. Well, I'm going to taste this chicken wing. Um, not my favorite either. Have you ever tasted that food where you've cooked it? It's been in the refrigerator for a couple days. That's what it kind of tastes like to me. But again, everybody has their different their, their preferences. And um, I don't know, that's just how it's coming off to me. But their beef and broccoli tastes really good. It's nice and saucy. It's not too salty. The meat is tender. They do have fruits and dessert. They even have mango over there in the corner and honeydew. Usually I just get maybe one piece of honeydew and uh, if they have the mango, I'll get it, but it's okay. I'm actually wanting the same fruit or the same dessert, sorry. That like leche flan and, um, and jello. This is just so good to me. So I'm gonna get a little bit more helping of this and I'm gonna get something savory and then I should be done. This is actually my fourth plate now. I'm gonna get me a helping of this fruits. It has some kind of like, um, it looks kind of like mayonnaise. I wanna say it's like a mixture of mayonnaise and condensed milk. That's how I can describe it. And it's not too sweet. 
they have choices of soup, some rice, noodles, and they have, uh, what are these, clams? Baby clams. And then behind me, they have an hibachi station, so you just pick your choices of meat and vegetable, and you can also um, get a choice of sauce. You give it to the guy, he cooks it up for you, and it should be done in about uh, five minutes. And here are your choices of hibachi food. You have the vegetables and the meat and the seafood. And then the guy over there, he cooks it for you. Now, if you had an allergy to any of these food, I would not recommend getting it cooked here. And then lastly, I'm gonna get some green beans. I love it cooked with a lot of garlic and this is exactly what it is. So yep, my sweet and my savory together. I'm gonna enjoy my last plate here and um, we do have to wear some stretchy pants. Honestly, I could stop right now, but you know how buffet goes, you wanna eat pretty much everything they have. So just a little bit more of my favorites and then we're done. And then Camille's dessert. I actually ate for the both of us, you know that, right? Because you barely ate anything. <laughs> okay, my lunch date with Camille is done. I'm very full. <laughs> I ate those four plates of food that you saw. Maybe not the bread and not those chicken wings, but pretty much most of the food. Uh, so that should be my dinner, at least up till when I go to work, because that was a lot of food. So now it's about 1.30. We have about an hour and a half before we pick up the rest of the girls. So we're just gonna go home, rest a little bit. Um, I do have some editing to do for this Friday. But um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do any more editing before I pick up the kids, but um, I'm tired already. I want to take a nap. Okay, so we're home now. It's about 1.45 in the afternoon. I still have about an hour and 15 minutes to pick up my other two girls. So I think I'm just going to sit here on the couch. And if I fall asleep, I fall asleep. Sometimes I don't even take a nap before work, and I really should. And so, yeah, this is going to be my mommy downtime for the next, like, hour. And, uh, and after that, then I have to get going and continue my day. Okay, guys, I already have my daughters with me. They're home from school. And, you know, this was not meant to be, like, a daily vlog. It's actually supposed to be a vlog for my daughter and I going out. Hi, Catherine. Hi. So, uh, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I'll save the daily vlog for another day. I know it's not so much um, as a whole family adventure, but it is an adventure for us because uh, Camille really needed this appointment. She hasn't seen the doc the audiologist in two years. But that was a nice um, mommy and daughter time, just us two, and then we had a, you know a good lunch. I hope you enjoy this content. Please like and subscribe as always. And um, I know this is real life, so it's not going to get too exciting because summer is done and I know we still have October, we still have things that we can do like farms and uh, pumpkin picking and all that. But it's going to be more of some daily vlogs as we go on during the winter time. Hopefully I can make it a little bit more exciting for you guys and at least do some indoor stuff as well. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!